So as a GM, as a game master, pulling together your players, running your adventure, running your scenario, what do we do in between physical gaming sessions? When, when one session ends before the other one begins, what are some opportunities for role playing? I wanted to kind of push out a couple of ideas that I like to explore because one of the things we're constantly looking for, I mean, we we have our narrative, we have our adventure, we have our story, we have our scenario, but I'm looking as a GM for plot hooks. I'm looking for that, that parts, player personality parts from my players for them to offer me something to work with that I can weave into the story because I can pull the group together. I can challenge the group together. I can move the currents of my adventure um, to, to better serve physically the tabletop game that I'm running. And this chance in between gaming sessions is a fantastic, fantastic opportunity to do that. So let's look at an example, push this out to our toolkit, and maybe something to consider, to, to try in between your next tabletop sessions. So the game has ended. We've got a couple of minutes left before we have to leave the store. We get kicked out. Do we have to make any dice rolls, any adjustments, and only leveling up um, hard bits of information that we want to hammer out right now? Uh, let's look at Dungeons & Dragons as an example because it's kind of a generic role-playing game that many of us are familiar with. If the party's just leveled up, then I want to roll for hit points right now. Everybody can see it. You get what you get. You got one roll. Pray to the dice gods, make whatever libations and sacrifices you have to in the name of, of the dice gods, and you know roll that d4, d6, d8, d12. That's what you get. In terms of picking feats or other aspects of, of development, we don't need to do that at the tabletop. Give yourself some time during the week in between gaming sessions. Think about it. Play things around. Ask me any questions. Get some feedback. But as we approach the next game have that that set in stone because whatever you start the next adventure with fair is fair that's where you are in between the sessions i ask the players at the table and again this isn't overly elaborate what do you want to do between now and the next gaming session so this idea um, that in the gaming world you raided the dungeon you sold all the loot you recovered the artifact, you found the heartstone from the thief that stole it, and now you're at the inn for a few days, resting, recuperating, recovering. What do you want to do? And, and physically, that, that break, that few days break in the game, resting up before we start the next adventure, what do you want to do? So I ask the players from the perspective of, of their character, what do you want to do? What do you want to explore? Uh, the wizard might say, I want to do some magical research. The fighter might say, I want to go out and train some more. Someone else might say, I want to make some contacts or just blow lots of coin and buy everyone lots and lots of drinks. So I take what they want to do. I make a couple of notes. And then during the week, I just write a brief narrative, maybe like a paragraph or two of what they discover, what they uncover. It could be some information about an upcoming adventure. It could be some information about advancing their individual character plot goals, which may or may not be known to the other party members. It might be a lead about an artifact or, or treasure source somewhere. I write that out and uh, I send it to them. Maybe I text it to them. Maybe I will email it to them. And this way they have it. They have it, they can think about it. And they can make the decision moving ahead. Do they want to reveal it to the party? Do they want to keep it to themselves? Do they want to start in the next gaming session and say, hey, maybe as a group we should follow up on this? You know, I discovered uh, I'm a wizard and I was doing some magical research in the local uh, library and, and I discovered, you know, this artifact lead and I discovered this old map that was was missed. You know, maybe we want to go on this adventure or file it away or pay some gold to a, a scholar or a sage to research it more. It's, it's a chance to pull in indiv individualized plot goals, and it's a chance for you as a DM to get some amazing adventure hooks. And again, the, the individual players, it's their destiny. They can reveal it to the party. They could keep it to themselves. They could follow up at another time. Um, it, it gives a little bit of narrative outside of the game and helps immediately set the tone, set the tone for the next part of the game. 